Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Very good. You, you mentioned about going to get some outside help. What, what are your favorite go to resources? Yeah, well, it depends on which book in the Bible. Um, on my resources, I start out simple and work up to technical. And that's the way education works. You start out in kindergarten, you end up in college. And I, I use my commentaries that way. So I start with study Bibles. And I use the footnotes that are in the study Bibles. Uh, I love the MacArthur study Bible. I love the Reformation study Bible. I love the ESV study Bible. I love the uh, Christian Standard study Bible. Uh, those are pretty much my go-to study Bibles. Anything that's in a footnote because of limited space is probably pretty important. And I, I need to make certain that I have addressed this that I've interacted with this, that I know what the options are on the interpretation of this. Um, and then I move into elementary type uh, commentaries, end up with technical. So elementary would be anything from uh, the MacArthur commentary series to um, Bible knowledge commentary to uh, John Stott, to other sermons like James Montgomery Boyce. Um, the more technical would be exegetical, heavily exegetical works. Uh, Nicot, uh, New International Commentary on the New Testament, the Old Testament. Um, you know, expositors commentary would be uh, kind of halfway in between. Uh, Baker and Zondervan have come out with excellent series. There's the pillar exegetical series. Um, and, and so th that's where I end up. Uh, I don't want to sound technical when I preach, but I need to use these technical tools to make certain that I, that I have got this correctly uh, understood in my own mind before I can in essence, paraphrase it to a lay person in much simpler terms. Right. So yeah. I'm also using language tools to do word studies. And I have at my fingertips um, systematic theologies. Um, I've got biblical theologies. Uh, I have an English dictionary. I, I have an English uh, thesaurus, so that I don't repeat myself and, and have alternate synonyms at my beckoning call. So that, that ends up being kind of in my toolbox, like a carpenter has a toolbox and he has lots of different tools in it. That's kind of what's in my, my toolbox.